So before we get started with this dream, we're going to just open up in prayer. So let's just focus on the Lord. So dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this opportunity to breathe life. We thank you for you giving us air within our lungs. We thank you for you giving us the opportunity to be beautiful stewards to your beautiful, blessed gifts. Lord, I just thank you for the opportunity to be on this YouTube channel to serve you. Um, it's hard sometimes, but I, I just thank you for keeping my heart clean and, and focused on you and centered on you, Lord Jesus. I thank you for, you know, whoever is going to watch these videos to be blessed and encourage and they they choose Jesus through this um, ministry. Lord, I just ask that you allow the Holy Spirit to speak through me. Holy Spirit, please have your way. Please anoint these videos. Please allow, allow whoever is destined to see them and cross paths with this channel to do so. And Lord, we just ask that your will be done, that you be glorified in this message and that I say only what you want me to say. Lord, I ask that you just make sure I'm not in my flesh and I'm not in my emotions as I speak about these messages. Let your words proceed out of my mouth. In Jesus' name that I humbly pray, amen. All right. So y'all, <laughs> these dreams, I had a dream, uh, I, I dreamt them a minute ago, but we're gonna first start with this one, which is, this is a dream that I had about marijuana. Um, yeah, so we just gonna read it. So this was during the week of June 13th through the 15th, I had this dream. Uh, so I'm just gonna read from the fine print and then I'll just talk about the experience. So I said, I didn't understand this dream, but I was with Armand and Trey from YouTube. I don't know if you guys know these gentlemen, but they're YouTubers. I believe Armand dated Regine Carter, which is Lil Wayne's daughter. Um, but I don't want to attribute their success to her. They have been successful YouTubers and they're musicians as well um, without their involvement with Regine. I just, I just wanted to, if people don't know them, um, try to point in that direction of who I'm talking about. So we rode together in this old house. We were trying to bring back something from the past. I don't know if I was, if it was an opportunity or experience or even a person, but as we were driving in the car, you guys, I just felt within my spirit that we were trying to go back somewhere, go back to a time, whether that is feel back, feel something that was old or actually communicate with somebody from the past um, but that's what I was feeling spiritually while we was driving around the car. So, I said, I felt like they stepped into witchcraft to get the results they were looking for. So, then a dream went to me being in a house. So, we got in the house, but we was like in a basement, basically. We was, um, it was people in there. I don't know who these people was. It kind of looked like a kickback. I don't, you know, like, it's a saying, like, the after party. It was kind of that vibe, like, where you go after the hours of the club hours. So, it was a bunch of people just sitting around. I was standing up, a bunch of people on the couch, just people just there. But we were waiting, right? So, I said, me and some people I don't know was in the basement. While they were creating the concoction I, don't, I ain't know how to spell that but they were creating the concoction says so recipe so as i was standing you guys in the basement god kept flashing me to another room and i could see basically i could see like a kitchen that looked like a like a witch kitchen i have no idea but it reminded me of i don't know if y'all ever seen hansel and gretel but it just reminded me like in the movies or hocus pocus you saw you see the scenery of like their oven and their pots and stuff like that. Like, I just kept seeing flashes of like a witch kitchen. I have no idea. I'm just giving y'all the information. But God zoomed it in my view and the dream into a hand. So I saw a hand, it was a male's hand, and he was like standing by a, it was like a witch microwave. I don't know. 
but he was standing by something that looked like a microwave microwave but it was like a microwave oven but it had like it had like a whole hocus pocus look to it. It was all black, like ashy, uh, metal. It wasn't a literal, like technological advanced microwave. It would look really old and like just um, like something you grew up in a witch kitchen. So anyway, it was like three lines. It was like a little square and it was like three lines in the man's and the man was like just standing by it. He was like waiting. You know how you stand by the microwave, you ready to eat your food? <laughs> so he's standing there to hurry up and take it out. So all I saw was like a blue flashlight, like, <laughs> like <laughs> and it reminded me of Hocus Pocus. Um in the scene where they was throwing stuff. Remind me of Hocus Pocus and it reminded me of That's So Raven. I don't know if y'all remember that episode of That's So Raven, the Halloween episode when they made the the brew the witch brew and they threw stuff in and smoke kept popping up a color like i think in not so raven it was green but anyway that popped up in the dream it was like a big blue flash like blue uh, it was really light blue not a dark blue flash of light and but and it signaled it signaled that the thing that was cooking is done right so obviously when i'm in the, um my conscious while i'm watching this dream i'm like okay what am i watching right now i'm pretty much looking at i'm uh, my understanding as soon as i woke up i looked at a spell being developed so or i don't know it's cat a, a spell being um, uh, basically my understanding is I was watching a potion be created or, or something that you have to take, which will be witchcraft, right? So the blue light flash before the item was done brewing, being cooked and like a fat man, it was like a fat man hand. It was like a big hand. <laughs> Sorry. But, um, I saw his hand reach into once the light flashed. He like opened the door and reached into the um like witch microwave. I don't know what to call it. Witch, witch oven, witch, witch, witch toaster oven. And he pulled it, he he reached in, he pulled out what was in there cooking. And here's the crazy part, y'all. When he pulled it out, it was a blunt. <laughs> I've seen the blunt before. I'm not gonna admit anything on this live but y'all everyone has a past i know what we a blunt look like right it wasn't in a it wasn't in white paper like a joint it was in what people wrap it in today like black um not a shell i think that's what they call it so he pulled, all I literally saw in the vision where God cut me out of the room that I was standing in, he pulled it into the man. Basically, he kept cutting. I was downstairs in the basement, but God kept in the dream cutting to where they was at, which was, I feel like was upstairs, away from us, cooking, cooking the witchcraft, which ended up being manifested, which it was manifested as a blunt. So... He put his little fat hand in there, pulled it out, came downstairs, and everybody was like, yeah, it's ready, it's ready, pretty much. And um, God, Holy Spirit, just pre please bring remembrance to everything that was in this dream, because this dream was, you know, pretty far away. Um, but yeah, everybody was like, ah, and they started hitting the blunt. And I was standing there, and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not smoking this. Like, I just knew don't, I knew not to hit it. <laughs> I knew not to smoke it. Um, something just told me to, in my body and everything within me, like, refuse to smoke this. Do not smoke this. Do not consume this. So, um, so yeah, that's the dream. So, um, I don't know, my understanding. So basically, I just want to go to the point of this dream. Weed, marijuana has something to do with witchcraft, 
Um, God hasn't spoken to me any de in depth with this dream. If he's speaking on like Armand and Trey being involved in witchcraft or anything, I don't, I'm not going to correlate that. Um, I think God may have just used them as figures of famous people. Um, but it might, you guys can take this message to the Lord. It might be literal. It might be literal that this is things that are actually happening. Um, or he might have used them to send me a message about just celebrities or people who are um, in the fame area. But um, please know, you guys, if you're a Christian, please stay away from um, smoking weed. Um, I know some people use this as for health reasons. Um, I really ask that you take it to the Lord because God tells us to be sober minded and be village, diligent. And um, sober minded is just not with oh, consuming alcohol or drugs, but also with anger, with jealousy, with rage, with you know, you not having those things within your heart. So sober minded is a wide range of things, but it's very clear to me after having this dream, we is witchcraft in God's eyes. We is being used to put people under spells. I think that's the statement that God wants me to say within this message. Weed is being used to be to put people under spell work. So do not participate in it. Um, if you use capsules or whatever, please take it to the Lord. Because most likely you are in your flesh and you're just using something that's convenient for you. But God didn't ask you to do that. But um, that's the message. Uh, I thank you all. I love you all. Bye-bye.